Good morning students. Welcome back to our Max class. Today we are going to learn a new topic. The name of the topic is division by repeated subtraction. Okay, what is repeated subtraction? Repeated subtraction is a method of subtracting the equal number of items from a larger group. It is also known as division. If the same number is repeatedly subtracted from another larger number until the remainder is zero or a number smaller than the number being subtracted, we can write that in the form of division. For example, if there are 25 balls and we form a group of 5 balls each. Here, the number 5 has been repeatedly subtracted 5 times. We can say that the number 5 has been subtracted 5 times from 25. So, we can write this subtraction as 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Okay, students. Now let us do some examples. Okay, first example 15 divided by 5 using the repeated subtraction method. Here we are going to subtract 5 from 15 until we get 0. So it is 15 minus 5. So our method is known as repeated subtraction method so first we subtract 5 from 15 then what is your answer yes it is 10 15 minus 5 is equal to 10 next we are going to subtract 5 from the answer that means 10 minus 5 Students, tell me what is the answer? 10 minus 5? Yes, that is 5. So, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Can we stop our subtraction now? No, we have to continue our subtraction until we get 0. When you get 0 as answer, you can stop your subtraction. Okay, then next we are going to subtract 5 from the answer. That means 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, we reach 0. Now, we count how many times we subtract 5 from 15 to get 0. 1, 2, 3. We subtract 5 from 15 3 times. So our answer is 3. So 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Next example 24 divided by 6. Now we are going to subtract 6 from 24 until we get 0. So it is 24 minus 6. So first we subtract 6 from 24. Then what is your answer? Yes, it is 18. 24 minus 6 is equal to 18. Next, we are going to subtract 6 from 18. What is the answer? Yes, that is 12. 18 minus 6 is equal to 12. Then, next we are going to subtract 6 from 12 until we get 0. So, 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Next, we are going to subtract 6 from the answer. That means 6 minus 6. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So, we reach 0. Now, we count how many times we subtract 6 from 24 to get 0. We subtract 6 from 24 4 times. So, our answer is 4. So, 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. 
Next example, 21 divided by 7. Here we are going to subtract 7 from 21 until we get 0. So, it is 21 minus 7. So, first we subtract 7 from 21. Students, tell me what is the answer? Yes, that is 14. So, 21 minus 7 is equal to 14. Next, we are going to subtract 7 from 14. The answer is 7. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. Next, we are going to subtract 7 from the answer. That means 7 minus 7. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. So, we reach 0. Now, we count how many times we subtract here to get 0. We subtract 7 from 21 3 times. So, our answer is 3. So, 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. Today's homework is page number 81, exercise 3.1. Okay, students, that's all for today's class. Thank you.